Hello and uh, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be turning text into videos with AI. Now, then the specific AI that we are going to be using is Flicky. Flicky is able to turn your text into videos and also add audios to the same. To use Flicky, you simply come to flicky.ai and it will take you to this page where you can see the details. Now for the pricing, to see the pricing, you click on pricing and you notice we have these four plans. We have the free, the basic, the standard and the premium. For the free plan that we are going to be using, we are able to get five minutes of audio and video content per month. And then we can get up to 720 pixel, that is our low resolution. But as you upgrade to these other plans, then you can get up to 600 minutes of audio or video per month. That is the premium and the standard can give you up to 180 minutes of audio and the basic can give you up to 120 minutes of audio content per month. And the charges are down here. To use Flicky for free, you are going to click under the free option and you click on start now and then you register using your email you get a link in your email to verify your registration you click on that and it will bring you to this site here you are now on the flicky part where you can use flicky to convert your text into videos that have audios and the interesting thing is that those videos can also have subtitles all at once using flicky so how do we now use flicky to create a video from a text, you simply come and click on new file. And in case you don't know how to use this, Flicky also provides a tutorial where you can watch and see how to use Flicky. So in this case, I'm going to teach you how to use Flicky. So you click on new file. And then you can give the file name and select the language. So let me call this file name nature. And then I select the language here. Then what do I want to produce? Is it an audio only or video? So I click on video, then create. Flicky takes me to this dashboard. Now, here we have the voice. And here we can now put the text that we want converted into a video. So let me type the text here. So let me use this sample text, Africa, the land of beautiful landscapes and breathtaking sceneries. Africa, the home and origin of mankind. To generate a video from this and an audio, let me start by selecting the name Sarah here, which in this case is our audio. If I select on that, you notice it gives me all the options for the audio that I can get. I can select the language to be English. Then I can select the character who will be reading my script. You notice the characters that have a star means I need to upgrade to use those ones. But you notice I have so many other free voices that I can use. For instance, I have Anna, I have Elizabeth, I have Kimberly, I have Jacob and so on. So to listen to the voice, let's say for instance, I want to hear how the male voice for Jacob reads. I click on the speaker icon. Flicky helps you create audio. That is how Phil sounds. Let's say for instance, I want to settle on Phil. I just click on Phil. Down here, I click on select. You now notice that up here, we have Phil and we have our text here that Phil will be reading. Here, I can change the image or the video. You notice that here we just have a gradient color for our video. So if I want to change that, I click on change image uh, or video. I click on change image or video. Then I can now give Flicky an idea of what I want it to use. For instance, if I wanted to use a certain image, I just click on image then I can type the name of the image here. If I wanted to use video, 
I can click on video. And if I want it to use AI art, I can click on AI art there. If I have a library that I would want it to select my video from, I click on my library, then I can choose the file here. So in this case, I want to use stock library. So I click on stock library. Then if now I leave it at that, then Flicky will be able to choose for me any videos that are in line with my script. But I like giving it a clue. So in this case, maybe let me select for it landscape and maybe say nature according to my script so that I'm able to see the options that are available for nature. So I type nature and click on that. So you notice I have all these images of nature. The ones that have a padlock, it means I cannot use them. I have to pay for them. But the ones that are open, like this one, it means they can be used. So in this case, let me click on that image of the video of that bird so that it will be the one to be used on this first part. So there it is. So if I don't want to be selecting every image for this one, I can come down here and use auto pick video. But for now, we'll use this one. Then in the second part, I'll use the auto pick. So if now I play this video, you can see how it will be plus the audio. I click on play. And of beautiful landscapes and breathtaking scenery. Now you notice we have our subtitles here. So if I click on these three dots, I can change the video. I can change the voice. I can change the voice. I can change the image of the video. I can also change the custom duration and I can also download that video. So up here on settings, I can also modify the output. If I need audio only, I click on that. Or if I need the video, I click on that, which comes with the audio. Then down here, I can decide on the size. For instance, I can select, currently it is selected for square. I can choose portrait. I can choose landscape. For instance, let me use landscape. Then I can enable fade effect between sections. I can enable zoom effects. Then for the subtitles, I can decide on how they will be. Subtitles, they'll be at the bottom. I select bottom. Then subtitle font size, I can decide whether they'll be extra large medium or small. In this case, let me select small. I can decide on the font type here. I can select any font there. Let me stick to Neonito. I can also select how those subtitles will be displayed. Is it per word or per phrase or sequence or the whole subtitle in full? So I want it to be per phrase. Then I can select the color here, subtitle font color. Maybe I want it to be red. I can select it there. In this case, I want it to remain white. So I select white there. Then I can choose if those subtitles will have a background. And I want it to have a background. So I can give it a black background. Then I click on save. So now if I play this video, it will have the new settings. You notice it is now on landscape and I can see the full view of the bird. Let me play that. Africa, the land of beautiful landscapes and breathtaking sceneries. So that is it. So if now I want to make Flicky to auto-select the images for me, this is what I do. Let me add the other part of my script. I click on that plus sign then I can choose the voice here, but in this case, I want it to remain fill, but I can choose another person, but I can choose another voice. Then here, I can now type the script that I want to be converted to the video. So let me select this one. Let me type elephants are the best ones to represent Africa. They are great and beautiful to the side. So if I do that, then I can change the voice, I can select the images here, 
but I can also click here on auto pick video. So let me click on auto pick video so that Flicky will decide which video will fit there. You notice here already, there's an image of an elephant that has already been added. So to view that, or to preview that, I just click on play. So let me play that again. Elephants are the best ones to represent Africa. They are great and beautiful to the sight. So that is it. You now notice we have our video here. It has two slides. And if I want to play all of them, I just click on this. So that it plays from the beginning. So that is it. So if now I'm satisfied with my video, I can now export the video. I will come up here and I click on export and the video will process. And you get this message here that you'll be notified by email when your file is ready to download. And once it's complete for processing, it gives you now the option to download. So I'll click on download. I can now give the file name here and click on save. And my video has downloaded. Let me click on that so that you see how beautiful the video is. Africa, the land of beautiful landscapes and breathtaking sceneries. Africa, the home and origin of mankind. Elephants are the best ones to represent Africa. They are great and beautiful to the sight. That is it. And so that is how you use Flicky. Flicky is such a nice AI that helps you to convert your text to videos. I hope this has been helpful. Kindly like this video, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.